Hello guys, I am going to change the X band radar magnetron. On top you can see these are two. The small one is X band and the big one is S band. So I'll be going to change the small one magnetron. So I'll show you the step by step process how to change it and how to switch on and transmit. Friends, we have to consider three four important points. The first one is isolation regarding all the equipments which we are going to work on it second one is whether it should be calm and we have to use the safety measures third one is magnetron handling and the fourth one is after installing the new magnetron how you are going to start it so we'll see one by one all these things so friends uh, if you have a plan to change this magnetron you get this chance so you have to go very slowly and you have to handle all the equipments this magnetron is from the maker of JRC GMA 91226XA and this is the cabinet you can see this is below the display unit this one is the breaker main breaker which is you can say this is uh, all for all this electronic unit and this side you go just behind the wheelhouse you will see 24 volt DC breaker so I have switched off all these two breaker 24 volt also and 220 also make sure your scanner unit is stopped once you have completed shut the radar power Make sure you leave the complete system for 30 minutes, best will be 1 hour. I have left it for 1 hour so that if there is any charge is stored, it will be discharged. So you can see here, I have used my safety harness and a person stand by with me. Uh, now I am proceeding uh, to go on the mast. This is the x band radar which I am planning to change it. This side is your motor side and the other side is your uh, magnetron side. So first I will inspect this motor side also. So you will get a chance to see how these motors look. So before working on this scanner unit, make sure uh, you switch off the scanner power. Just below this scanner unit, you will find a power off button. Power off it and use a proper insulation glove and start opening the cover. So these are the safety measures. Make sure the uh, weather is calm. You can see the weather is calm right now. So remove all these four bolts to remove this side of cover. So using a ratchet or a spanner, you have to slowly, slowly open the cover. This is the motor side. So once you open it, uh, you have a regular interval of greasing also or uh, inspection of bearing. So if there is a, a play in the play in the gear, you can uh, you can report to it or you can ask for a technician because these are very precise things so you have to only inspect when you get a chance to inspect all these motors so that there is no play and the lubrication is proper so you can see this is a light green color this is the motor side well so I have already inspected it and uh, I will box it up and we'll go to other side magnetron side this side is magnetron side this side I don't have uh, much space to show you the broad view because the space is very very congested so the plan is to open this cover make sure you don't hit or disturb any other electronic parts uh, which is there in the scanner unit because these are very delicate things and you can see multiple electronic parts are there so handle it very properly so this side you can see multiple wires are there and extreme right you can see a mesh cover this is a magnetron location you can see the marking this small fan for cooling so you have to remove all the screw from this plate and then you have to uh, along with the cover and the fan you have to remove the, uh, this cover and then you can see the magnetron so once you remove using a screwdriver you have to remove it use a non-magnetic uh, rubber type screwdriver it should be a rubber type so once you remove it you can see this is a magnetron this you can see here yellow and green color wire so you have to very slowly remove it make sure you don't touch any other body so very very properly and safely you have to remove this uh, two wires and after the wires are disconnected you have to uh, using allen key you have to remove the magnetron so you can see the magnetron the old magnetron is in my hand so i will i will place a new magnetron now 
this one is the old one it's a very simple job uh, you, the only point is the procedure you have to focus on it so this is a magnetron location where it was installed so install the new magnetron here and you can see i am fixing the new one and the connection also i will carry out so once you have done the connection and make sure the wires are not touching any body like scan unit body once all these steps you have uh, done you can put back this cover and screw and you can cover this scan unit box so you can see i have done this part and now i'll go down and start the i will start the complete expand radar unit but i will not start the scanner unit so you have to extend the preheat time which is very important after uh, installing a new magnetron so 20 to 30 minute a preheat time is required so you have to just switch on the breaker which i have uh, stopped before and uh, keep the display on and let it for let it preheat so after 30 minute of preheat so the first point uh, where we have to focus is magnetron time for warming up so we have to give time for the magnetron to warm up second point is keep on short range and short pulse length so we have to start with a short range and short pulse length then we have to keep the gain minimum with no clutcher so we have to do this step three step for 30 minute and after 30 minute uh you have to keep on increasing the gain and range only after 30 minute when if the magnetron is stable and performs well then it is okay if it is not performing or uh, it is uh, performing in unstable condition then we have to start uh, from zero like first step we have to again warm up for 30 minute and then go with short range again increasing the gain after 30 minute so this is the way how you have to start the new magnetron so you have to give the important point is you have to give the warming up time for 30 minute so after 30 minute you have to start all these three four steps and once you have done all these things you can reset the running hour for uh, magnetron you can see on the display you go to main button and then click left click press a zero and then enter and then you go to you can see the multiple options are there maintenance setting and then you go to transmission time transmission and receiving time you have the option clear transmission time clear motor time so whatever option you want to clear it you can clear it once you do it your running hour will become zero and like this you are going to start your radar so guys see you back in the next video till then bye bye take care